the WWE Hall of Fame is a few weeks away, much like WrestleMania is, and I've put this off long enough because the more I wait, the more inductees will be inducted, the more people will be inducted, I should say, and uh, probably another celebrity, possibly, that I think about, but we'll get to that later. Now, you may say that this Hall of Fame is already stacked. It's in, it's in Madison, it's in the garden, it's going to be stacked, it's going to have a, a bunch of names like it already does right now, uh, but there's probably going to be a, a few more with was it, five, six weeks to go? So there's going to be a few more inductions down the road. I expected this, I expected this class to be bigger, though. But uh, with a technicality of eight inductees, and you'll see why in a minute. Uh, but with that being said, th this Hall of Fame is honestly a dream Hall of Fame so far. With the exception of maybe someone that might come up down the road. Now, the reason I say there's eight, there's actually seven. Wait, no, one, two, three, four. There's actually five. I'm, I'm counting wrong. And the reason I'm counting wrong is because the first inductee that they announced was Mick Foley. And the technicality is the four faces of Foley being inducted. Which face will be inducted? Probably all four will be inducted. I don't know how Mick's going to do that. It'll be interesting by itself. But the reason I say that because, in a way, with these alter egos Miss uh, Mrs. Foley's baby boy has made over the years as Mankind, Cactus Jack, Dude Love, and, of course, the lovable little old Mickles. Uh, it really makes me wonder who is going to show up at that Hall of Fame. Which one's gonna come out? Maybe all four come to their own little speech. I don't know. That'd be interesting. But, you know, with Mick Foley overall, this is long overdue in my mind. A lot of these are long overdue. But, uh, some more than others, but Mick, honestly, is probably one of the best right now. And, uh, with Mick being Mick, uh, I can honestly say that he will do something interesting at the Hall of Fame. But one thing I always like to bring out, besides the fact that Mick Foley is a former WWE Champion, the former Free Down WWE Champion, former, uh, I think, WCW, he had, a, he had the tag gold. That's pretty much in WCW, but ECW Tag Champion, ECW something. I think he was something in there. Original ECW champ, The first hardcore champion. That's what I'm trying to think of. The first hardcore champion. When the belt was... And people that don't know the story of the Hardcore Championship, uh, I'll do it quickly. Uh, the Hardcore Championship was actually the World Wrestling Federation belt that was broken by Mr. Perfect and the Genius back in the day. And they just taped it up, duct tape, made a Hardcore title. And gave Mick his own belt when he was in the corporation. And years later, we have a fellow inductee that is actually a Hardcore Champion that I'll get to later. But, um, you know, the mat, the title we see, you know and love today and wish that was still around today. But, uh, you know, with Mick Foley being WWE Champion, Tag Champion, Hardcore Champion, obviously. I don't remember if he had the Europe... No, he didn't. Have, I, don't, I don't remember if he had the Intercontinental. I don't think he did. But it was mostly the Tag, World Title, and Hardcore. That's pretty much all I remember. Besides from being a few Royal Rumble winners and... One of the first moments I remember watching as a fan, besides like an own heart match, was uh, I believe Mick Foley with Sacco being the referee against Big Show. They showed that match. I guess they had like a weekly thing that Coach hosted or whoever hosted back then. I, I'm surprised I even remember it. But uh, I believe it was the match with Big Show and uh, Mick Foley being the referee for the, the title match at WrestleMania 2000. No, it wasn't 2000. It was some match at WrestleMania, though. I don't think it was 2000 because Mick was in that match uh, as a competitor. But it was it was one of the WrestleManias that they needed a special guest referee and Mankind was a referee because he won that match. And Sako was just awesome back then, which he still is. And uh, I wouldn't uh, be a Mick Foley fan without a mention of Europe the Clown and that clusterfuck for This Is Your Life with Mick, uh, Little Rock, Rock and Sock Connection. I mean, there's a billion things I could say about Mick Foley whole video could be a bit Mick Foley for fuck's sake. But one thing I always like to do, and I got sidetracked for a moment, but one thing I always 
you know, think of. When I say person, whoever I talk to, you know, to have a nice day or have a good day or whatever when I start leaving or whatever. After I say that, I always have this sound in my head after I say it and start walking away. And of course the music plays in my head for several minutes afterwards. It's weird, but you know what? That That's the... Uh, thing that Mick does at times. You know, there's memories, small or as stupid as they may be. The boy that dived off of his own roof is now in the Hall of Fame and it's about damn time. Uh, so yeah, technically there's four inductees already. But wait, there's more. Another one that's long overdue is Mr. Bob Backlund. And the reason I say Mr. is because Honestly, you remember the Bob Backlund of old as the All-American Collegiate Athlete, amateur wrestling style. I mean, think of back in the day when there was Danny Hodge and all those guys. Bob Backlund was probably one of the last ones around to actually hold the WWE Championship for, I believe it was four and a half years, maybe close to five. I'm not quite sure. Which, uh, ironically, was ended by the Iron Sheik, from what I remember. And uh, he held that for like a month or a week afterwards. With the whole Arnold skull and throwing the towel as classic. Which was brought when Backlund returned. Uh, just snapped. It was brilliant for the time. It was amazing. I've never seen someone that psychotic, besides mankind possibly. At the time, the Mr. Bob Backlund, the excellence of eloquence, yet could snap at a moment's notice. It's the Damien Sandow of today, without the mental problems, obviously. But, uh, you know, actually won the title in a similar fashion. Owen getting the... Uh, uh, Hart family to toss in the towel when Bulldog was uh, well he was he, he was he was knocked out but it was like because of the steps not because of Owen and you know it's probably just me having memories of the Hall of Famers and shit right now but honestly Bob Backlund has been a long overdue and here you're keeping score one of the only few to have held the title more than CM Punk recently of his recent reign. And there's another person that has that same distinction we'll get to later. But yeah, back one long overdue. Anyway, the first female inductee of this class, possibly there will be one or two more of those, hopefully, because they always do a female induction every year, it seems. And uh, that one 